welcome back to Google. Ah, it's going to be FS22. I just want to uh, do a quick intro video for course plate now that we have it because it's very different to course plate in FS19. But the first thing, how to find course plate. So if you do a Google search for FS22 course plate and GitHub, that will take you to the creator's website. And then to download it, you want to go over to the right hand side, click on the latest release of course plate. And then scroll down and click on the zip file and it will download for you. And then if you just copy that into your mods folder and you'll uh, be able to use it in the game. So let's uh, get over to the game and I'll show you some basics of using Courseplay. But we're in game now and I'm going to do a series of videos on Courseplay starting from today's one, which is a very basic where are the course play controls because the menus are very different and how to set up a course and get it running save it and then what happens when you reload the game and how to reload a course so first thing the diff big difference between fs19 and fs22 is that course play is integrated in to the helper system uh, so to access course play you go into the worker menu which is the steering wheel on the left hand side and we have our mccormick selected here which has a plow on the back and so to create a first step how to create a, a course play course if you click on create job and then up here on the left hand side you'll typically have either go to or fieldwork when you install course play you get an additional course play fieldwork icon um, and so you want to select a target position which is on the edge of the field is what i've been doing um, you can use the in-game workers will drive you to the start point um, but i've been setting myself up like in fs19 where i want the course to be so you then create a new target position and create a direction and what i'm doing is creating it in the direction i want the tractor to go start as well um, and then i would select start from first waypoint on the uh, on here so you can either have start at first or start at nearest and then we want to go down here to the bottom and click on open course play course generator um, and then so far i found the auto width seems to be working quite well um, and you've got controls a lot like you had in fs19 you've got working width which you can change yourself uh, how to do the center of the field for this obviously we're going to do it up down but you've got lands you've got racetrack and you've got spiral like we had in fs19 how you want the corners done so whether you want a turn with a sharp corner or for the tractors to drive around a smooth corner the number of headlands you want to do let's have on three for this is probably a bit high um, the direction you want the headlands and uh, so we're set up to go on a clockwise headland row start direction i've left as automatic uh, but you've got similar so you've got longest edge or automatic at the moment uh, start working on either headlands or field center because we're plowing i've got it put to center and then stopping at the end we want either activated or deactivated or that would be returned to the first point which seems to have an error in the uh, language that i have in here so we'll then with that all set up should be able to click create course but we don't seem to have that option so we'll start again so we'll select our target select our rotation open the course and there we go so we can create a course now not sure why that didn't come up the first time uh, so we'll set all our options the same and we're just going to do generate field work course and there we go in the background we have a course and then we can close that down uh, and then to get started we just hit start job and if we jump out the uh, tractor should drive over to the start which is way over there um, and i found it will do some fairly random driving to get itself there um, i guess what we could have done is put the tractor in where we thought we would be when we were going to be starting the course but it will make its way over there while it does i'll show you how to save the course um, so if we hit escape and you'll notice here we have this icon which is a bunch of um, waypoints um, and what you need to do uh, is create yourself a folder and to do that we do that down here so we can uh, give the folder a name so let's play video okay uh, i found if you didn't create a folder it wouldn't save the course and then if we select that and then if we hit save course and hit space and then give that a name so this will be plowing 
and the course is saved and we can see that while we were doing that the uh, tractor has got itself sorted and it's off running the course now uh, so yeah we could uh, at that point just leave it to uh, go on its merry way plowing the field if you've used course play before you kind of get the idea probably and we'll just let it do a turn on the headland and then we'll look at what happens if for some reason you need to stop the worker for a bit maybe you uh, quit the game because this is a big field and it's a long job and uh, things are going to take a while so we'll just let him make the turn and uh, yeah so if you want to stop the worker at all just hit H um, this is really nicely integrated into the base game worker system and let's say I had reloaded the game at this point um, and the tractor was here I suggest do what I've just done back up a little bit and then you can just hit H and it'll pick up where it was on the course and it'll go back to work um, it's a really cool feature um, compared to 19 because it's integrated with the worker system really nicely you can just hit H and it will continue um, so again if I pause it uh, what happens if we decide actually we don't want to do this and you want to clear the course well if you go into the course manager or yeah into the course manager you can just hit clear current course and then you'll see when we go to the map we no longer have a course loaded but yeah actually i've decided it we are going to finish it now we've gone off and done whatever else we want to do and we want to load a course um, so you need to select the folder that the course you want is in um, so you know I want the course we've just saved so I'm clicking on the course play video folder and then we select load course and we select the course and uh, if we go to the map then it's reloaded and uh, there are a couple of ways you can restart this so if I back up a little bit um, you can do what we did before and just hit H or you can do create job and uh, drop the marker down pointing in the right direction on nearest waypoint and click start job and the tractor will drive forwards to the marker you've just put down and it will start work for you so you've got that option or you can just hit uh, you could just hit H so again I would back up a little bit hit H and uh, that's it pretty much that's the first very basics of getting course play to work to uh, work a field um, work with the cedar work with the plow work with the cultivator that kind of thing um, future videos going to look at harvesting uh, forage harvesters probably integration with auto drive um, and whatever else i think of that i think is worth doing a video for on course play so if you found that useful and you're not already please subscribe turn on notifications uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video because that really helps me out and if you've got any questions drop me a comment um, there's bound to be things that I've missed uh, I'm finding that as I learn how to use these new mods with FS22 so like the new version of auto drive and the new version of course play I'm learning at the same time as everyone else is so if there's things you think would be useful to include drop me a comment below and I'll, uh, I'll include it in a future video Catch you next time.